guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are going to install this mesh grill on the side intake vent of the Porsche Cayman S. So let's go. Perfect. why you need to install this mesh into here because you know Porsche when they created the car they didn't have anything here well the reason is when you drive remember you have a lot of air going inside in the bottom portion here or the top portion right there so every now and then you might actually have like leaves or debris that are going there slipping inside those vents that you can see right here and getting stuck into the fans that are in here so as a result you start hearing like whistling now inside the cabin when you drive so this is actually not good because it can actually damage the fan blades that are in there and cause any other type of issue now this side vent side grill i meant to say right here is fairly 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 simple and actually not too expensive to install but when you install it will kind of look like this and it's going to protect the car from having all these debris going in the back there now i'm going to show you also on the front where i already have mine installed when well, i purchased the car with that but the previous owner didn't install the side so i just went ahead and purchased the side to install so that i don't have any further debris going down there now to install this actually you first have to remove this piece right here and to remove that simply pull hard in this corner and then after that start removing on the other side so let me go ahead and do that and show you the next part simply start pulling from this side and then pull around and you will have that removed so when you remove it this is simply how it looks I have to be honest with you when you remove this usually there's like a little clip that might get bent or broke and you know once you remove that you can place it back because you have additional clip now when you have this out it's a good idea to also go ahead and clean up you know because what are the chances that you're going to remove this just to clean it up right so go ahead and just clean up the area so it's nice and you know Take a chance and also clean the inside so that when you have everything mounted it really just look nice so i'm going to try to clean the inside as best as i can putting my hands in there clean so this is just a simple a regular towel with a bit of water so just kind of clean the dust that is in here for me and when you think that it is a uh, okay like i have it here i mean i just trying to clean so that it looks nice next thing you do is simply take the mesh which is right here and just align it like this only if i can do it with my right hand being right-handed so i just align it like that and as you can see and it fits pretty well you have to make sure that you push it all the way and you can see it fits now all you have to do is put back that trim now when you want to put it back make sure that you align these three tabs to these three holes on the side and then this side is going to align automatically by itself as i said you align the three like this as you can see it's going in the hole and you simply now start pushing into the corners like that and everything falls back in place and like i said the way Porsche like to do things you hit it a little bit on the middle there and that's it it's in and you see this is how everything looks now if i have any debris it's gonna get stuck here i just have to kind of remove it but big branches and debris like cigarette things it's are not going to go in there and damage my side blades that's it man for the front of the car 
around the area where you have the fog light you also have a mesh that you can install right here now like i mentioned the previous owner installed on mine so usually the way you do it is install with zip ties now you have actually another way of installing this where the zip tie will not be seen as here where you actually open this piece and have the zip tie inside so that it is not showing but you can also do like this if it is you know easier for you and just cut the zip tie as done here because they easily blend and you don't even see it. now this will make sure that debris don't go here where you have that radiator there's the same thing on the other side of the car right there and then when you come to the side vent here you also have it here and then you have that protected so that's it man i hope that you like this if you made it to the end make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like for more content of this type like i mentioned i have a bunch of things that i'm going to install onto this car so stay tuned to see everything stay blessed and uh just keep watching Tovek Motors, man. Thank you.